Here's a beautiful 2021 Ford F-150 XLT. This one's got the 5-point liter engine, 5.0. 10-speed automatic transmission. This truck's got a little bit of an interesting story. I guess it's pretty simple. Um, I believe this actually came to us as a theft recovery. We just got this truck in yesterday, and the only thing that we did to it was install a brand new Ford OEM catalytic converter and uh, program Ford keys. <coughs> that is it. So the catalytic converter was cut out of this truck. You can hear the engine running right now. It's got about 19,000 miles, 18,000 miles, I believe, in this truck. We'll verify that when we get inside. Otherwise, we haven't touched anything. We just got the truck in. No body panels replaced. Uh, nothing repainted on the truck whatsoever. Here's the tire tread depth. I would say about half life left. I mean, they got 18,000 or so miles on it. Don't see any dings or dents or scratches on this side. Have a little friend with me today. Nope, nope, stay in there. Stay in there. I'm actually going to be using this truck as my daily driver, so the miles will increase on the truck. This tire here has got a little bit more life, maybe 60% uh, life left. I'm going to crawl underneath because this side here, so there's two catalytic converters. But I'll show you up underneath the truck here first. You can see there's this catalytic converter here was cut out. And the one on the driver's side was never touched. So you can see it there. And uh, that one was never cut out, never touched or anything. But this one here says brand new Ford OEM. No, I mean, you can see Fomoko on it right there. So, there was, it was cut right about here, and then it was cut right about there. There was no damage, you know, any wiring or anything like that around it. The blades never hit the frame or anything. Sorry about that. Just took the truck through the car wash, so it's dripping a little bit of water, but uh, it's not a flood or anything like that. Guarantee no water ever got inside this truck. Guaranteed. Um, here you can see the metal under the seats. So we got the truck again back here. I don't see any dings or dents or scratches. Uh, it does have the 360 camera. Of course, we've got our pop-out step here. This will, you know, any, any Ford guy knows that. Got our, oh, it comes with a bungee strap too, actually. Got our power outlet there. Of course, it comes with a tunnel cover. truck did come from, oh, yeah, looks like here's, oh, that comes off with my fingernail, actually. So these two little scratches will buff right off. There's a little paint chip right there. Tire, about 60% life left. Little friend wants to come out, but uh, she's going to stay in the truck. see any dings or scratches or anything up here trucks just dinging because of course it's running door jar so here's our window sticker
more importantly, there's our options to it. Sorry, a little bit of cold here. Go ahead, I'll throw that in there, shut the door, and open this up. Looks like I do have an owner's manual. And then the key fob. I need to have that in my pocket here. Apologize for not having that out. Actually, pull forward so we're not looking into the sun directly. As I'm trying to show you the interior of the truck. So I do have two key fobs. Um, only have one of them on me today, but we did have two brand new key fobs programmed. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, lock, unlock, remote start, tailgate, panic alarm. They're Ford OEM fobs. So again, we do have two fobs. Uh, digital cameras love to make digital screens flicker. I don't know if you're seeing that or not, but if I hold my camera straight and right on it, you can see it's not flickering, but sometimes these little displays and buttons flicker. Promise it's not doing that in real life at all. It's these buttons over here. Of course, we've got everything from your outside lights, uh, parking brake, adjustable pedals, tailgate, power windows, locks. Our cruise, I believe this truck has adaptive cruise control. Honestly, I haven't tried the cruise out yet, but uh, we'll go ahead and we'll try that when we get out on the road. But I believe it does, because I, I think I hit something earlier and it said adaptive cruise control ready or something along those lines. Of course, we do have four-wheel drive. We also have all of our heated seats. Power outlets, 12 volt cigarette lighter, accessory, more 12 volt. Um, of course, our center flips up. I can't do it all the way, otherwise, I'm going to lose my garage door opener and keys, but there is storage up under here. And I'm going to go ahead and actually shut the truck off, open up my door. That way, everything fully powers down for you. Up here, looks like we got sunglasses, or sunglass holder, power rear slider, our dome lights. Now I'm going to go ahead and start up the truck. You can see my other hand's up here. That way you know I'm not trying to clear any codes for you. And the other one's holding the camera. Vroom, vroom. Uh, 18,590 miles on this truck. Com slash. So, again, everything works. And we'll take it out for a quick drive. Rides really smooth, no clinks or clanks or anything along those lines. So it is my understanding, and of course I'm not the insurance adjuster, I didn't see the claim or anything along those lines. Uh, it is my understanding uh, the reason why this truck got a salvage title is obviously because I believe it's a theft recovery, um, only because the Cadillac converter was stolen out of this truck. However, uh, when we tried to get the Cadillac converter for this truck, uh, the only one, no dealer could get one. They were all national back order, as most uh, basically parts are for most new vehicles right now. They're just so hard to get with COVID and the shortages and all of that stuff. Um, this catalytic converter for this particular truck and engine size was no different. Um, basically, they said there wasn't one in the country. However, we were fortunate enough to punch the part number into eBay, and we found this catalytic converter, brand new OEM, 
Ford product on eBay. Um, pretty expensive, of course, being the only one that was out there, but we bought that right away just so we had it and uh, had that part thrown in. It's all good. And let's see. And that is why I believe it actually has adaptive cruise control. I'll try it on this semi that's up above. It's got lane keep assist. And yes, I still have the cruise on. I am not decelerating the truck at all. It's doing it itself to match the speed of the semi that's in front of us here. And you can see we're slowing down to, looks like 58 mile an hour, while the cruise is still set to 69 right down here. So this truck, confirmed, does have adaptive cruise control. I wish my camera didn't quite record and flicker like that, but uh, not much I can do. Very smooth, very quiet. Steering wheel straight. You can see if I go ahead, uh, let go of the steering wheel, right about here. Let go, not touching it whatsoever. Still not touching it. We're still going straight down the center of the road. Still not touching it, actually. Still not touching it. Still not touching it. All right. So yeah, doesn't pull. Uh, brakes are fine. They're not rusty. They don't shimmy the steering wheel or anything. Of course, I mean, the truck's nearly new with 18,000 miles. Let me go ahead and turn around right up here. And... So going back to the catalytic converter, uh, a lot we've been buying a lot of these vehicles, and when we find them like this, uh, that only needs one part, and there's not one in the country, the insurance company is generally left with no uh, other position other than to basically total out the truck because they can't repair the truck. Um, if they're predicting years and years, well, you know, to get that part, there's there's nothing they can do. They have to just kind of get rid of the truck. Insurance company cannot install a used catalytic converter. Is that's technically it's against the law. Against the I, I know it's I'm not sure what rule it is out there, but I know junkyards are not allowed to sell catalytic converters used. Um, and frankly, most junkyards just slice them right out of cars anyway. They're not fragile with them because exhaust components are usually pretty hard to uh, take out as they're usually rusted in place. So you can't buy a used one, uh, you can't put an aftermarket one in, so the only option is is new OEM, and if there isn't one in the country, and you know, fortunately, one got listed on eBay the day uh, after we bought this truck, and we were able to snag the only one up out there. So 
So again, truck runs nice, true, quiet. Any other questions, feel free to send us an email. Thank you very much, and have a good day.